Hey, what's up guys? This is Nightwing2303 from weartesters.com. Today we have a first impression on the Hyperdunk 2014. They just released today. They're actually available in four colorways, including this one now over at finishline.com. Hopefully you guys will be able to see this pair because they are all black. I did wear a white shirt on purpose though so that there's no confusion and all that stuff like I did last year with the uh, 2013. I remember I did it on my black table and they were a black shoe. Bad idea. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right guys, so here is the shoe. Some people love them, some people hate them, just like every year. Last year had the big ribbed heel cup. Uh, this year they've obviously got rid of that. Um, this is actually heel counter here, but we'll just go in order. Here's the traction pattern, very similar to the Kobe 9, where you can see the outline of your foot. So these are gonna be your uh, pressure zones. So that's pretty much where you're gonna be, you know, planting and things like that pushing off for the most part and you see this area here this is for when you when you stop or cut back um, push off things like that when you're curling around screens this will cover all of that area um, as far as the rubber goes hopefully you can hear that um, in, in the mic there but um, it's pretty pliable so I think the indoors is going to be really nice uh, outdoors it should work just fine durability I'm not really sure I'm really hoping that you can see all of this um, so I know I can see it on my screen, but I don't know about your screen, but uh, that is the traction. As far as cushion goes, as you can tell, there is Lunar in there. Um, also says right there, Lunar Lawn, and I believe it's targeted still. Really comfortable uh, right when I tried them on. Uh, felt just like last year's actually. So um, if you've enjoyed the last uh, couple Hyperdunks, the Lunar versions, you'll pretty much have the same experience here. Reason why I don't think it's full length this time is um, uh, because the the price hasn't changed at all it's it's 140 just like last season and uh you know if there's no price increase then you can usually assume that there's no real tech increase as well the so materials just like last year are exactly the same you got fuse there you can see it there's actually stuffing in here let me take it out all right so you can see the fuse is more like rubbery um so it'll wrap around your foot without any pain and all that stuff this is a blacked out version but um, what they're doing with these is this little line right here. They're doing half and half color blocking. Uh, just like you can see here with the stutter step twos. So you can see that the um, uh, these guys are, are half and half. And these guys will do the same thing. So this, this colorway obviously doesn't have the half and half thing. But the other three that I mentioned earlier in the video that are over at finish line, they, they all have the half and half. So it would be like black and mango or black and white and all that kind of stuff. So, um, But again, materials, exact same thing. You see that there's there's areas of ventilation and all that stuff. This is probably the coolest part and it's the one thing that you really can't see on this colorway. Um, you can kind of see the squares back there, but this is supposed to be like that Nike Elite strip that goes up your socks. So for the people that do wear Nike Elite socks, it's gonna be like whew, like straight up there. It'll look really, really cool and seamless almost, like it's like meant for it. Um, and unfortunately you just can't see it there. So it's behind the mesh, which is probably why. Maybe that's 3M, not really sure. I guess we can try and take a picture of it. Oh, I guess it is 3M. So, there you go. They fit true to size, just like last year. Whatever size you wore last year, get the same exact size. Unless your foot grew, then obviously go up half a size, but they fit fine. You got plenty of flex points in the, the lacing system. Um, for anyone wondering, uh, the, the flywire is secondary, so there's also lace holes through the uh, fuse. Ventilation, kind of went over that earlier. You can sort of see it. This is a really bad colorway for everything <laughs> as far as trying to point stuff out. But um, yeah, the one thing that I do really like though is that the tongue here is super thin and airy. Um, usually I like a thicker padded tongue, uh, but I do like that there's gonna be a lot of airflow through here. Luckily they gave you flat laces, so when you're lacing them up with a thin tongue, it's not gonna pinch and create some lace pressure. So as far as the support features go, um, basically you're gonna get that out of that fit. You can see the really high cut higher up in the front, more mobility and range of motion in the back. Um, this little piece here, this is the TPU uh, heel counter. Um, the reason why it's so low is because heel counters, a lot of people don't get this, they, they get confused or whatever. They think that the, the heel counter is to keep your foot from coming out of the shoe this way, but it's really to contain your, sh your foot this way. Because um, when you stop and change in directions, you don't want your foot to really roll over the footbed, especially in the heel, because that's where it's highest and you'll get uh, instability issues. You could roll over, 
and cause an injury and things like that. So that's why these things are here. It's not for, you know, up and down lockdown. That's actually what the lacing system is for. Um, but these guys here, the, the TPU cups and things like that, is to keep your foot inside the shoe secure. So that's, that's that lockdown right here. It's, it's locked down, locked in. Um, this lockdown is from lacing system. And you can kind of see the outrigger here, but the base is flat. So stability shouldn't be an issue uh, whatsoever. Uh, you can see there's no weird raises or grooves or anything like that. So it should be good. And then on the back here, this little chrome piece and the, the swoosh, it's actually TPU. So that's your shank. It's internal. It's there. So anybody wondering, um, you know, there is one. So don't worry about it. That's just hard to see. So here's just your 360. This is going to end my first impression. Honestly, I think they're going to play... Uh, just like last year, um, with the exception of the traction, I think the traction is going to be freaking sweet. So I think that this is going to be their main upgraded feature. Everything else, though, from the midsole on up, I think it'll probably be exactly the same. So you should be good to go. Um, 140 is the retail price. Once again, uh, Finish Line, other basketball retailers have these as well, but they got four of these colorways at Finish Line now. Link is going to be in the description box below. Stay tuned for a performance review. And until next time, guys, have a good one.